Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a free web host, in this case awardspace.com, and how you can host your domain for free using a free web host. Um, this website does have free and paid options, um, and it's uh, using any free uh, web host can be hard to find on the internet, but Awardspace is one of the few that does offer some free options um, and I'm going to go through showing you some of the basic things you can do and uh, right now I just want to show you now some of the pros and cons of using a free web host okay so it's free as in money um, it could be good for getting started how to learn a web host and it could be good for learning how to use uh, how to use basic HTML CSS and JavaScript but the cons might be at low uptime, um, could be extremely inconvenient for putting many files on a site, like you have WordPress, that's several thousand files. I'll show you using a thing called FTP. It's not a good way to run a professional site. It might be slow and it has some other issues. But again, if you're a beginner and you just want to get started using a free web host, uh, this is what this tutorial is going to be about. Okay, so once you're at awardspace.com, you can go to free hosting and uh, you'll need to make an account and I'll do that right now. Okay, once you make an account or at least you register, it's going to give you something like this and you'll need to confirm your the email. Okay, I just confirmed the email and now I'm logged in. So it actually it's at awardspace.net. cp1.awardspace.net is the actual thing that you log into. And you'll see something like this. Um, so probably what you're going to want to do is go to Domain Manager if you want to actually use your own domain. And I'll uh, go here. And you can register a domain, transfer a domain, or host a domain. I'm going to choose host a domain because I already have a domain. It's uh, example eShop.com. Okay, so I'm going to click on host domain. And then you'll see something like this. It says, please wait, this might take a few moments. Uh, so, um, uh, I see. So, this is, uh, hmm. Okay, so I realized the problem is that I just made a new account and it's not letting me, um, it's not. I have this actually in a different account. So what I'm going to do is log out of this account, log into the other one that has access to the um, actual domain. Okay, so let's continue again. So going back to Domain Manager. So you're going to go to Domain Manager, and um, you're going to choose Host a Domain. And in my case, I would choose Example eShop.com, but I already have it here. And for some reason, it won't let me register it in another account, uh, even if I change some of the details. So I'm just going to assume that I'm making it here now, and then I'll show you how to transfer it. So once you uh, register it on, or at least have the add, if you go host an existing domain, it's going to give you some information. And you're going to have to change the name server. So in this case, um, it should tell you what the name server should be and um, it says that these are the name servers ns5.awardspace.com and ns6.awardspace.com so what you'll need to do is um, point your name servers here um, if you're using um, Cloudflare you can make an A record here, but I'm going to assume we're not using Cloudflare. I'm just going to use the this these name servers. So go to your whatever company you registered your domain with. You're going to change the name servers. Okay, so in my case, I made this with uh, ExampleEshop.com, and um, you might start. I, I excuse me. I made uh, this is with Namecheap example eShop.com and uh, you're going to change the name servers so you might have had some random name server I don't know 
uh, random name server, okay, you're going to want to change it. Um, let's say I'll just change this temporarily. Um, you're going to want to change the name servers to whatever a word space says to. So in this case, we have ns5.awardspace.com and ns6. So um, this is just for Namecheap. But again, um, if you're using a different host, you'll change it based on your uh, uh, domain registrar. That's just for Namecheap. You can, anyway, you'll point your name servers. And if you don't know how to do it, I would uh, contact your domain registrar to find out how to do this. So we're going to do we're going to change the name servers to this again. If you use something like Cloudflare, it's a little bit more, uh, maybe slightly more sophisticated. But I'm just going to assume we're using these name servers and we're not using Cloudflare. So again, uh, make sure your name servers are set up like this, and it could be several hours to for them to finally point to awardspace.com. But I'm going to assume that some time has passed, and I'll continue. Okay, so um, once we're here, um, you'll know if the domain is up if you go to your domain and you see something like this. This shows as um, uh, this is the default of WorldSpace.com. Uh, what it shows if there's no files in the root. So um, that that's a good sign because we know that it's working. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to File Manager. And uh, oh yeah, before I continue, I wanted to show you that I actually have um, WordPress. I actually have WordPress set up already, and this is on a uh, this is on a WordSpace, but the this is just the. An example WordPress site but it actually took a long time to set this up because I'll explain later there's several thousand files in WordPress and unfortunately I couldn't just upload the zip file and extract the zip file I had to use something called FTP to set this up but uh, we won't worry about that right now okay so again you're gonna go to file manager from the uh, WordSpace panel and uh, in this case, it's exampleeshop.com. And um, I have a folder WordPress, but actually, I'm going to show you some sample uh, HTML, uh, some sample HTML file. Okay, let's say you had a very simple HTML file like this. This, um, yeah, it's it's a very simple HTML file, and I'm going to upload it. So you can upload uh, with this upload button, and I'll show you what it looks like in a moment. Okay, so once you have, once you find the file, you're just gonna uh, click there and then click on upload. And uh, since my file was very small, it got there pretty quickly. Now, if I just go, this is um, if you go to any uh, any domain website by default. It'll assume the main file is index.html. And let's go back to example.eshop.com now. This is the default award space, but now since my file is there, this should go away. And this is the super simple HTML file. This says this is a test title. This is an example body. So again, uh, the first step was actually pointing well, the first step was setting up an account on a word space and then pointing to uh, the name server. And then now after hopefully so, you know some time has passed, maybe some hours later, we now have uh, access to the site on uh, this. And then I just uploaded a very simple HTML file. Again, this is the very simple one. I'm going to show you a slightly more sophisticated one. This is with some CSS. Okay, let's say that you wanted a slightly more sophisticated HTML file. This has some CSS. And uh, yeah, so you don't need to know what this means other than it just has a little bit more to it. And there's some styling. Okay, CSS is all about styling. And I'm going to upload this and then show you. 
Okay, in this case, first I'm going to delete the other file that I already have up here. So I'm just going to delete it. And then I'm going to now upload the new one. So I'll show you in a moment. Okay, so the new index.html has been uh, uploaded. And it has the same file name, but it has different content. Now let's go back to example eShop.com and reload the page. And notice that it looks different, right? It has this box and it's centered and it's got bold and so on. Um, so this is has some styling, okay? And you can do that with HTML and CSS. Okay, and as I mentioned, I actually have a WordPress site on this already now. It's at exampleeshop.com slash WordPress. Okay, so the actual install of the WordPress is in slash WordPress. Most likely you're not going to do this. Most likely you would put the WordPress files in the base folder. So for example, if you went to exampleeshop.com, it would just show the WordPress page. And uh, this is, yeah, and notice there's no HTTPS, like it says not secure here. That's because there's no um, HTTPS certificate. You don't need to know about that. But this is a good way anyway, um, having this if uh, you just want to get started. But actually putting this WordPress up was uh, a bit time consuming. But I just wanted to show you that you can do this on a free web host. But uh, this video would take way too long for me to describe everything about WordPress. Um, but what I wanted to describe was going back here. Um, notice here that there's this WordPress folder. And then inside here, there's actually thousands of different files. Okay, it says there's 3,597 files. Um, and, you know, there's only a few files you can see here, but it has many different subfolders and many different subfiles. And this would not be possible or at least it would take probably many hours or even more than a day to manually upload all these thousands of files. So I ended up having to use something called FTP that stands for File Transfer Protocol. Okay, so I'll describe really quickly what you would need to do if you wanted to put WordPress on this free host. So first you would go to wordpress.org and download WordPress, okay? And then in a word space, you would need to go back to the dashboard. And then you would need to make a, uh, make a database. So you'd make a database and a username. And then what you would do is you would use something like FileZilla. And uh, you would need to transfer the files to your domain on and a word space has an FTP manager. And what you would do is you would make an account. You would make an FTP username, an FTP password, and then you would follow the instructions for how to connect and how to upload the files. And then uh, hopefully, and, and then you, have, yeah, you need to go to the right, um, and then you need to go back, for example, here, I had actually put the WordPress uh, folder there. And mind you that, uh, for example, this is a WordPress folder and it has thousands of subfiles and sub sub thousands of subfiles and many different subfolders. And I would transfer it with FTP and then the last step would be to actually make a, uh, a username and password for WordPress. And again, this is what it looks like. So this actually took me more than 30 minutes to transfer all the files with FTP because uh, unfortunately a word space does not allow you to upload zip files so you have to use FTP and but anyway so this video is about how you can use a, a word space to run a simple website and start out with as a free uh, host I hope you enjoyed this video if you like if you got value from this video I'd appreciate it if you could uh, follow or subscribe to this channel and like the video if you enjoyed it. Okay, uh, thank you and see you in the next video.